Hello, how's it going everybody? So today we're going to talk a little bit about Minecraft. Minecraft is the open source and privacy respecting answer to the likes of Amazon's Alexa. So it's an AI smart speaker pretty much. Now, it's a relatively new startup. Um, I mean, it doesn't have backing of a big corporation like uh, Amazon, but um, they are actually looking for investors at the moment, but it's regulation crowdfunding, so that's kind of much higher risk than, um, you know, your standard securities. But I believe in the project, so I, I did do invest in it. Um, it will run on all sorts of hardware. Um, so you can run it on a Raspberry Pi 3, well that's a Raspberry Pi 4, it'll run on a Raspberry Pi 4 or 2 of course, or a Raspberry Pi 3. Um, if you run it on a Raspberry Pi, it's a good idea to get yourself a Pi hat with some mics in it, uh, ideally an array. Um, you can find one that has hardware echo cancellation that will save you a lot of hassle. You can also get a 4 mic array, which is what I'm using in the pie behind me, over there. And there's the 2 mic array. Um, these ones are called Respeaker by Seed. So the great thing about Mycroft being open source is you can audit the code. Now, at the moment, they do use Google's speech-to-text engine. Um, that, I see as a problem, but they do anonymize it through Microsoft servers. Um, I still think we need a good open-source speech-to-text engine. And if you remember, I did make a video about Mozilla's... Um, deep speech, which unfortunately they've discontinued, but Zilla are still doing their common voice data set. So good on them for at least continuing to improve this data set. But uh, this company here, I believe it's Kukui, um, they've kind of taken over those um, Mozilla speech to text and uh, text to speech as well projects. They've taken over. So and this is what um, their uh, text-to-speech sounds like. Hello, everybody. This is a fork of Mozilla's text-to-speech artificial intelligence. Sounds pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. So, the great thing about Minecraft is you can actually change all the components in it, including the backend for the text-to-speech, and the speech to text so you you can experiment and change the back ends if you want if you really don't want to use google's one you can try to change it now by default Minecraft Minecraft's text to speech is an offline one called mimic that they developed themselves sounds pretty robotic so and you know it's actually i it's actually ideal for a Raspberry Pi, the offline one. It doesn't require... Mimic does not require a lot of resources to run. Mycroft are developing their own hardware. Um, you can reserve the Mark II for a dollar. I don't know when it'll be ready. So, yeah. Or what the final price will be. Um, the Mark I is 150 so I think the Mark II will be a bit more expensive. It, it has some better hardware in it. I mean, it has a Raspberry Pi 4 in it, but it also has some custom hardware attached to that. Minecraft was primarily developed using Python, and the skills are also made using Python. Um, I'm developing one of my own skills here, the Jellyfin skill. Jellyfin is like an open source alternative to Plex. I've done a video about that on my channel. 
to my skill plays music from a Jellyfin server. That's actually a fork of the MV skill. So by default, Minecraft does connect to the cloud. This is primarily to give you an interface to configure the settings on your skills and to install skills from the marketplace. There's not a lot of skills on the Minecraft uh, marketplace. Primarily, these skills are curated by Minecraft. Um, yeah, so, but you can find lots of skills that are not on here on GitHub. Mycroft does provide a very easy way to install skills from the likes of GitHub. Now, I wouldn't say Mycroft is a consumer product just yet. I think they've got a fair bit of work to do f for that. But if you're a kind of technical and you like tinkering, um, Mycroft's documentation is usually pretty good. So, for example, this is a documentation on how to change the text-to-speech engine. All right, so now let's have a play with Minecraft. So, in order to ask Minecraft to do something for you, you need to say, Hey Minecraft, what's the weather like today? It's currently clear sky and 18 degrees. Today's forecast is for a high of 18 and a low of 4. So that was Minecraft's default text-to-speech engine called Mimic. So let's uh, change it to use another engine. Just for demonstration purposes. You know, Mimic sounds all right. <laughs> hey, Mycroft. What's the weather like today? I'm away. It's currently clear sky and 18 degrees Celsius. Today's forecast is for a high of 18 and a low of 4. Hey, Mycroft. What is the capital of Turkmenistan? The capital city of Turkmenistan is Ashgabat. Turkmenistan. I don't know if you heard it, but I just triggered the one behind me, which I put to sleep, so somehow I accidentally woke it up. I think Mycroft's uh, sleep and awake skill is broken. Completely balked, because it doesn't work at all for me on any of my Mycrofts. I didn't find that his skill name is broken. <laughs> See? What the hell? <laughs> Please rephrase your request. All right, now let's try to play some music using the Jellyfin skill that I've been working on. Hey, Minecraft, play Blackmore's Night. Just one moment while I look for that. Playing Blackmore's Night. Hey, Mycroft, what song is this? Playing 25 Years by Blackmore's Night. Hey, Mycroft, stop. Hey, Mycroft, play Mozart. Just a second. An error occurred while processing a request in Jellyfin. I'm not sure how to play Mozart. Well, yeah, that, that's my bad. <laughs> There's a skill I'm working on, so I just found a bug. I don't know why that bugged out. Let's try this. Hey, Minecraft. 
Play artist Mozart. Give me a moment to check for that. Oh my god, Woodside? I didn't say that. Sorry, I don't know how to play artist Woodside. Alright, now I'll show you Mycroft running on a Raspberry Pi. Now this is a Raspberry Pi 3. I do have Raspberry Pi 4s I could use, but because I am writing a skill for Mycroft, um, I want to backwards compatibility test it with a Raspberry Pi 3. Now, excuse the camera setup. I don't have a fancy studio. Um, this just happens to be where I've got my setup and my tripod's kind of crap. So I've just used a zoom on my camera and here we go. This is just a Bluetooth speaker. That's okay. Plugged in bar auxiliary. Plugged into the headphone jack on the Pi because that's much easier. So let's... Um, Try it out. I'm going to hold the speaker closer to the mic. Hey, Mycroft. Yeah. What's the time? It is 3.10. Hey, Mycroft. Yeah. What's the weather? It's currently broken clouds and 18 degrees Celsius. Today's forecast is for a high of 18 and a low of 13. All right, there was a bit of a ruckus going on outside today with water blasters and stuff. So now I can continue this segment. Hey, Mycroft. Play playlist fun mix from Jellyfin. Now, as you can see, it takes longer on the Raspberry Pi to process your request. Not as fast as a desktop. Playing fun mix. Now, the good thing about this uh, array here is the LEDs light up and there's a skill to show you when it's thinking. Hey, Mycroft. What song is this? Playing Outlook for Thursday by DD Smash. Now, obviously, I do have software echo cancelization going on here, so that way the music doesn't distract it from what you're trying to tell it. And obviously, the Mark II will come with hardware echo cancelization, which is even better than software echo cancelization. Hey, Microsoft. Shuffle. Shuffling your music. Hey, Mycroft. What song is this? Playing I Still Haven't Found What I'm Looking For, Feet. Rodi Leo Douglas, JR, by Scott Bradley's postmodern jukebox. Hey, Mycroft. Stop. Hey, Mycroft. Set a timer for steak. Five seconds. How long of a timer? Five seconds. Timer started for five seconds named steak. Five seconds timer is up. Hey, Mycroft. Stop. Now there's an issue. I don't know whether this is just on Pycroft. Um, when it's speaking, you can't tell it to shut up. So when it goes on a long run, it can get quite annoying. So if I said, hey, Mycroft. What is the capital of Sweden? Now it'll go on for two minutes and once it gets... Stockholm is the yeah. capital of Sweden. It has the most populous urban area hey, in Sweden as well as in Shut Scandinavia. Up. 
Approximately 975,000 hey, people stop. live in the municipality, hey, with 1.6 million in the hey, urban area and 2.4 million in the metropolitan oh, area. The city stretches across 14 islands where Lake Emmeron flows into the Baltic Sea. Out. Yeah, I don't know whether that exists on the desktop version, but I'm... <laughs> it's just annoying. There's probably a workaround for that, but um, yeah, it doesn't wake up when it's talking. Um, that's annoying. So yeah, it runs pretty well on a Raspberry Pi 3 and 4. Um, they do have limitations. It's a little slower processing your requests. Um, I ran into some issues when I was... Um, writing this skill for Jellyfin, uh, mostly due to uh, some bugs in Minecraft himself. A lot of them, there's a pull request that has been accepted, but it's not in the master branch yet. But uh, hey, I'm sure by the time the Mark II comes out, all that will be sorted, and hopefully I'll be able to get my skill all working and put on the Minecraft marketplace. But anyways, yeah, I thought I'd show you guys this cool open source project so sorry i haven't been uploading as much content um i am working full time now i just started a new job so until i get used to that and get into you know a routine and and stuff uh, i'll probably only be making like one video a month or something um so anyways thank you all for watching see you all later